Hello and welcome to Horizon. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a video, so we think we'll uh, update you on one of the latest systems we have there. This is the full long range uh, system from Horizon, and uh, I'll be going through each thing in turn the UAV, uh, the RC control unit, and the actual tripod system to show you how the system goes together and how it operates. Um, we'll start off first with the UAV itself. Okay, starting with the actual Phantom Vision Plus. Um, this has been modified by Horizon and this is the, what you get when it's fully modified to antennas, which these go on to the UAV on the connectors, which is for FPV, for bringing back your, um, your video link on the Wi-Fi, and two gold 5.8 gigahertz antennas. This UAV will be modified by Horizon, and I'll just uh, tilt it over as you can have a look at it. Bring it in shot. And you have a connector there, okay? And this one has got a thicker coax on there. That is meant to be used for the 2.4 gigahertz, in other words, this type of antenna, okay? These screw on there. On the opposite side then you have the thinner coax, okay, the mount's the same on all four, which is then to be used for RC control, which is uh, this antenna, little gold blue planner from Horizon. Okay, so you must fit these before flight, otherwise you're not going to have proper RC control and certainly no link back on um, Wi-Fi, so you must fit them first. And use the method of fitting them uh, to the Phantom Vision Plus. Well, one other note, under this particular one, it's been modified by Horizon, so just there is a Flight Trek Live system. Just there, look, see it. That's Flight Trek Live. So if you've got uh, Flight Treks on you and fitted by Horizon, you may have Flight Trek Live fitted there, or it may be the Core 2, which is a very small little module to fit it just under by there. So that's an option you can have. Uh, when uh, fitting from Horizon. So let's have a look at the antennas and how they fit on there. So looking at the uh, UAV Phantom Vision Plus itself, there's two connectors on our two legs there, okay, bonded onto the um, top of the legs and they're very securely fixed there to allow you an easy termination point for putting the antennas on. And the way to identify which is which is a look at the coax, okay? On the right there, you can see it's thin coax. I'll just bring it in short. See a thin coax there? That's 5.8. And on the left, you'll see it's a thick coax, which is 2.4 gigahertz. So you need to understand um, which is which and do not mix them up. Fitting the antenna onto the UAV is a simple matter of just applying it to the connector and screwing it on. I'll just screw this one on for you. I won't tighten it up fully because now you have the choice of having it vertical, horizontal or tilted. Okay, And I would say have it like that, tilted. Okay, So we just lock that down in position slightly. So it's held, okay. 2.4 is exactly the same, which goes on the opposite side. I'll screw it on tilted. Because you've got the you've got the ability then. See when the UAV is in flight, okay, and it rotates. If this UAV is now in flight and it rotates, you one goes vertical, you see, and one goes horizontal on the opposite side. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, so I'm going to tilt it to 45. So again, use the 5.8, sorry, the 2.4 gigahertz one uh, on there. Tilt it out exactly the same. Turn the UAV around. Again, you can see the thicker coax there, so that's 2.4. So then we do exactly the same. I'll put the 2.4 on first. Just screw them on and have it tilted like that again. Okay, same with the 5.8. Screw it on. 
screw him on. I can get him on there. Yeah, I got him. Screw him on there. I'll have that one tilted as well. So that's the UAV fitted with the four antennas. Um, if your modification has been done by Horizon, um, then the internal antennas obviously on Wi-Fi being disabled, so they're no longer in use, okay? So you must fit these antennas on to uh, get it, the FPV to work. So looking at the UAV now, you have two antennas there, tilted, and two antennas there. As I said to you, the Swiss fence tilts down, okay, then the opposite then is horizontal, you can just you can just get it in shot there. See it's there, it's horizontal, it's in shot there, so it's horizontal. Similarly, when the back one tilts the other way, vertical, the front one goes horizontal, okay. So that's the method of mounting them to the uh, Phantom Vision Plus, and uh, you should always fit these okay before you take off so do not fly without these connected you must fit them we could do a small little antenna set for this uh, kit as well where you can go back to quarter wave and patch antennas but we'll discuss that later on in another article but it is possible to do that okay so there's your uh, Phantom Vision Plus now ready for flight also, you just make sure that you make you get home lock position before you take off and remove your clamp on the camera. And you're away to go. This particular one, by the way, has the older compass on there, which is this one here, the silver one. And uh, obviously there's a bit of a design flaw there where they've used non-ferrous screws in the compass. And uh, we have found at Horizon that these can demagnetize the compass and it loses calibration and this can happen in flight. If that happens in flight um, then it doesn't know where it is actually in relation to satellites so that could result, result in a strange operation, erratic operation and possibly a fly off. So Horizon have now got some of the new compasses in stock so if you um, have a look at the store you can change this uh, new compass on there which is anti-static version so it's a matter of taking the whole leg off and putting the new leg on if you have this fitted from horizon and you've got these connectors in there obviously disconnect the connectors take them out re-drill the new ones and put them in there the unfortunate thing is you have to remove the top of the of the uh, UAV because the compass cable comes up and plugs into the main board in the top so you have to take the top off to do that Okay, let's move on to the um, uh, the long range system, which is the the tripod system from Horizon, and this uses the compact extreme kit in a tripod arrangement. Okay, this is the Horizon tripod system. Obviously, the tripod is not supplied because most uh, photographers have tripods, and you want the type that's got. Uh, pointing arm on there below you tilt and swivel the tripod itself so then this then is bolted to the tripod head via the fixing underneath and it'll then follow and track as you point it taking you through it a little bit from what you have on the underside you have a ball swivel mount there if you want to use your, this ball swivel mount you can if not you just unscrew it okay completely and this comes out okay and then you can put your camera head straight onto there and the little threaded inside will pick up the thread pot position there so you can have it flat on straight away if you don't need to have or use that if you don't want to it's an option okay but it is supplied with a new tripod system that we're doing at the moment also on this new version there is a a lipo monitor on there just there okay when the um the battery is inserted in you then the white cable on the balance supply output is then plugged into here and then you can monitor the voltage on the battery and this can be set to an alarm so if the battery gets to a certain voltage you can get it to sound off and make the pilot away you have the connector there and usually a 2200 uh, 
11.1 volt uh, 3S battery fits in the slot with a JST connector then to supply power to the RF amplifier. And underneath then, if I just turn it slightly, you have um, the Horizon RF protector module there, which then goes through and comes out on the other side. And just turn him over. And then that plugs into the RF amplifier, okay, to give it power. So let's uh, break it down and see how it comes apart and that will give an idea how it's then assembled. First thing we'll do is disconnect or pull off the extender. The extender is fitted on a plate and it's just velcroed on so you just pull it off. Okay, Disconnect the SP antenna which is normally mounted horizontal coming straight out like that. Okay, That's where you want it to be mounted. That's the one output. The second output Okay, it's going to the big antenna, so we don't screw him, and that's now disconnected. If this is modified by Horizon, then we would do, we'd do an indication for you to show you which is the highest output, and we indicate it by putting a black dot just on the connected output there. Because when we actually measure them with the RF power meter on a Roden Swartz, it this shows which output is the highest. So connect your big antenna to the black dot version really and uh, obviously you can get the most efficiency from your extender. The um, antennas obviously are slotted in there so I'll just disconnect the two antennas disconnect the 5.8 gigahertz from the RF amplifier this cable is custom made goes straight down through onto the amplifier output okay so I'll just disconnect it there Disconnect the 2.4 gigahertz as well. So now we have a flat lead. It's a double 90 degree if you look at it, 290 degrees on there. Okay, that's 2.4, and the 5.8 is a 90 degree on one straight connector which is down into the amplifier. Once you disconnect that, then you can just lift out the array itself and it'll just come out. Okay. There's a velcro pad just there which gives it a tightening effect when it goes into the slot and then the antenna can then be broken down for transport. Just remove that wing nut there, take that antenna off 5.8, remove those two nuts there and takes off a 2.4 so it then breaks down into a flat pack so you could flat, flat box it down. That's okay, that's that disassembled and now we look at the RF amp. There's no need really need to take the RF amp off um, the uh, the tripod kit because that's where it's used. So leave it on there. Um, if you're not going to use it, then that's how it's basically broke down to. On the side there, you've got the Extreme Pilot badge, which this is, and on the other side, you've got the tripod array uh, label. There's a, a connection then which is heavy rated, comes to the input, okay, and goes to a termination plate. So on your RC transmitter, there will be a one meter cable supplied with this kit, which plugs in there, RPSMA, okay, and that goes back to your RC control. We will be modifying that slightly because actually we could take the cable straight into the amplifier there, okay. But what we'll probably do is disconnect this cable and take this out completely and bring the cable through the hole, loop it back on itself and then take it to the amplifier. So we don't have to have this configuration then and we have a strain relief then at this point here to stop you pulling at the connector direct on the amplifier. So that, that'll be in the new version that comes out shortly. Um, the RC control unit then is just plugged into the top of the output and uh, you can use the RC control unit then um, just in your hand, very light to use. So there's your tripod system broken down and uh, we'll have a look at the RCN at the moment. So we put that to one side a second. We talked about this extender and it was modified by Horizon and uh, the balanced outputs was indicated on the highest one with a black dot. Okay, 
when we do the modification there's an option for you to have a panel up upgrade with these because if you want to use this um, extender as it was back on the factory obviously you can't because it's been terminated into these connectors okay so if you wanted to do that you'd have to physically open it and rearrange the connectors okay but what if Horizon have done is provided another module for you as an option the two patch antennas they have removed okay brought out and then they remounted into a module like this um, the two more two patch antennas are inside there okay this is now a panel antenna two outputs matching the um, outputs on the extender and then all you do is velcro will be supplied on the back okay and then all you do is this will just be velcroed straight on the front like that okay so there's a patch lead then that goes from there to there patch lead from there to there which is supplied with this antenna so that's a new bit of kit from Horizon and it allows you to revert it back to patch antenna mode if you wanted to okay um, that then keeps everything compact on the pilot then if you do want to put the array on there all the time you want to have a little fly around and uh, quickly assemble it so it allows you to reuse your extender as you did before with our module fitted on the front so let's have a look at the RC control unit I use one that was sent in by a customer this has been modified by Horizon um, the antenna actually now is redundant this antenna is now redundant okay it's just there for cosmetics just fill up the hole really so it can't be used and there's an external connector fitted here okay at the moment because you have to use the your UAV um, using the, the gold SP antennas they are left hand circularly polarized okay so this little nimrod now is left hand circularly polarized as well so this then matches up to it so the minimum you'd have on this RC control will be that antenna there okay if you're using it as an array then this unscrews from the mount and the connector the one meter cable screws in there a 90 degree version will go straight in there okay and then that will allow you to uh, drive the amplifier here directly from the RC control so all you'll have in your hands is this unit and the extender then is obviously fitted back onto your uh, tripod system okay okay so precautions when you've got the RC control and you haven't got an antenna on there okay is uh, do not switch it on there okay with no antenna connected to the terminal at the top okay so you should not do that so make sure you've got some sort of antenna on there okay so that's the extender fitted back normally onto the RC control kit and then what you do you get the module okay it's velcroed as well because the extender is velcroed I just place it on the front like that Okay, and then the patch leads, there are two that come with it, these type, they'd be a bit shorter than that actually, these are just a prototype versions, um, that then you just link up each terminal, okay, short link. And that gives you um, the RC control back to factory basically on the extender side. And you're always going to use an antenna on here which is going to be circular because the UAV uses circularly polarised antennas. Um, you could then, if you wanted to, in this configuration, take that one off and place that one on, which now gives you 9 dB forward gain on 5.8. Like that, okay. So that's the other option you have. These are options again um, to use the RC control in this uh, ultimate light state, which is like this. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go and assemble it back together from its broke down stage and show you how it goes all goes back together. So from this stage, okay, with the transmitter off, make sure it's off, okay. Um, remove the antenna. You'll be putting a patch cable on there now. 
remove the extender while he's undoing. Disconnect the patch links here and just remove it. The panel antenna, okay. And then this is then placed on the tripod system. We put the RC control to one side. And bring in the tripod system. There you go. And then that presses on the face. Okay, like that. The antenna array now, I've uh, broken it down so you can actually see it in its broken down stages. Insert the bolts through from the front to the back. Like that. The other one. Put a washer on there. One on each. Wing nuts. To do them up, them up, spin them on, lock this one down on the second one. And if you notice, the connector is on the in pointing towards the right, which it should be. If this is an opposite boom, then obviously this connector will be on the other side, pointing to the left. Because you can have a left configuration and a right configuration, and there's really no difference between the two, it's, they work exactly the same. Okay, get your 5.8. That goes on the fixing tab. Okay, and this one goes through from the back. Just there. Okay. Again, washer, nut, wing nut. And just tighten this down. So there's your assembled compact extreme array ready to go. All we then do, bring in the tripod system and then this just slots in the slot there. So just press it in okay, and push it down. And it's a nice firm fit, okay, it locks in position. This antenna cable is 5.8, so it's really mired up to connect, so you just screw him on. Just give that a shot a bit for you. Just screw him on. This is your 5.8, okay. Um, put the patch link now, which is one of these, okay. 290 degrees like that is 2.4. So we'll connect it to the far one there which is 2.4 okay it's going to come over to the extender and the extender then has uh, two connections on the bottom which we connect to one is the antenna and one is the screw panel so in this case I'll just take it off okay offer up the connector put it on you just will go to the nearest one and the on the left in this particular case because it's going left. While we got it off, I'll put the screw panel on. Okay. Place it on horizontally again. And then press it onto the velcro. And uh, there is your assembled tripod system. Zoom it out a second. There you go. Connecting to the RC control is a simple matter of connecting from this connector here to that connector there on the RC control where the meter cable is supplied. There will be um, a mounting bracket facility for putting an LCD monitor. Now you have a choice then to put it onto the RC unit right there, okay? Because the um, video coming back is on the Wi-Fi so there's only a need to put one cable between there and there or there can be a bracket fitted here and the monitor can fit in there okay on the tripod system so all you've got in your hand is this so the bracket could go either way there powering up then is just lipo in there insert him in 
and connect up to the lipo monitor. On the lipo monitor, okay, you have to make sure you put the battery on the right way round on you and on, on the one indication. I'll put some indication on the photographs to show you how it actually connects. But make sure you connect it upright, okay. Okay, I've linked up the RC control unit to the tripod system with a very short cable just to demonstrate it on the bench here for you. Um, obviously this is going to be a lot longer, it's going to be a, about a metre long to allow you to move around a little bit. I've got a small 3S battery in the lip up compartment there, 500 milliamp at the moment. Normally you'd use uh, one uh, 2200, okay, something like this to energy. Okay, and on the lip on the lipo tester is actually the far end there. Okay, is the negative end there, right there. So let's must make sure you put the black cable on that end. Okay, this is just showing the voltage on the cells. Okay, number two, three point eight. Number three, three point eight. Okay, they're about four point two when they're fully charged, and there's a little button on here. Which you use to set the alarm. Okay, so this will monitor it for you and power the amplifier. JST connector there. So if you've got one of these batteries, 2.4, you need to put a JST converter on if you've got the uh, Deans on there like that. So you need to marry up with this one, okay? JST. Okay, with the uh, battery connected now, obviously the amplifier is on. You can see that it'll LED green glow in there. Um, the RF amplifier is not running actually because if you look the other LED is out. But uh, obviously as soon as I turn on the transmitter um, the light will come on. I'll just uh, get that in shot for you. I just about see that. Switching the transmitter on. Two bleeps and the blue LED comes up. Okay steady light. You'll have a steady light with that because it's not meant to go be full duplex, it's only uh, transmit in one direction. So now that the output of this is being used to drive the amplifier, the output of the amplifier is driving this 5.8 gigahertz. So you have one watt in excess, two watts coming out of this antenna. Um, in FCC mode, if you wanted to, you could turn it down to standard mode, which is one bleep. Um, OFCC mode, it doesn't really matter, it just gives you maximum output when you run it in FCC mode. One thing about the extenders, these, some of the newer ones, they, they're running in excess of 250 to 300 milliwatts, so you know, you don't really want to put an amplifier on there without putting attenuation on it to reduce the drive down to the amplifier. So use it as it is if it's in the 300 milliwatt range on the new type and it's going to go a very long way with 300 milliwatts believe me. you probably find you won't have to put an RF amplifier on there at all because you have after all um, 12 dB antenna here okay and that obviously works transmit receive on uh, 2.4 because it's full duplex. So there's your operation of the system and how it connects together and uh, any question you can certainly email me at uh, FPV tests or go via the Horizon store and uh, I will reply to you no problem at all